Hello, YouTube. Yep, that's right. It's me. Can I give you? I'm back. I'm really sorry it's been so long since I uploaded a video. I've had a lot of real life issues that come up in, in uh, my life, obviously. Um, one of which is that I actually, uh, unfortunately, lost my job. So I'm in the market for, for another one. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get one in the fairly near future. So but in the meantime, I've also been uh, moving in with me, my fiance. That's right. I actually got engaged uh, fairly recently. So a lot of life changes in, in that regard. So I've been moving a lot. And that, that process is still ongoing, believe it or not. It's, it's not done yet. So um, what, what this is, um, this is the main reason that I, well, one of the reasons I've been putting off, putting in, uploading new videos to YouTube. This is the ProMine server episode zero. And no, this is actually not the ProMine server. This is what I've been doing with myself for, for, for the last month or so. Well, most of it in any case. So what I want to do is I want to, want to make a, sort of a brief video here, briefer than sometimes videos, but not briefer than other ones, uh, showing you what I've been doing and the kind of things I've been doing just to sort of reframe my mind towards vanilla Minecraft and the kind of things you can expect over this new series which is going to be on the ProMine server. Now ProMine is a vanilla only server. It's using Minecraft 1.8. These were all made using either uh, Minecraft 1.7.10 or the 1.8 snapshot. So it's pretty much the same kind of thing. So let me just give you a quick tour. So in this particular world, I started off over there, swam over to this place, leveled in a uh, mountain of, of sand and sandstone here, and built this. Now, a number of things I was trying to do with, with this build, one of which was I really wanted to do this kind of a staircase here. And for some reason, every single time I start building with sandstone, I always build something like this, something kind of like a longhouse or something. So I built in, in several modules. This part over here is actually mirrored up to this point, And then it, it continues over here. Same design over here, including the step down there and there. I also uh, changed the landscaping a little bit over here that may, may make it a little more a little terraced and also also on this side so you can see the terracing this is all done by hand this is all in survival mode it took me a long time but you know it's, it's nicer once more to get your you get your hands ready and fix this kind of stuff so um what i what i learned in in, in this this video um like I said, um, mostly about how to survive. Like I said, the first thing I did was I leveled that mountain over there in order to make get, get most of the material in order to make uh, th this beautiful co construct right here. Um, it took a long time, and, and uh, it was more dangerous than I thought it was going to be, so that's going to be a consideration when going into this new, new, new vanilla series. Uh, this thing you see is not quite finished, but it's mostly finished. You get the general idea. So you go down here, step up. Yeah, I got this grass is all original. I didn't have a silk touch, so I had to bring that in that way and uh, I over here I was planning on making a second floor eventually but well, well I also I like the way that the yellow stained um, glass bricks move uh, go with the uh, the sandstone very nice I'm kind of interested how the red the red sandstone bricks are going to go with red glass I'll have to experiment with that down here just a bit basic thing I was going to do for my my mine shaft all the way down there nothing too, nothing too fancy in the middle I just have my storage area with uh, this is supposed to be a garden. This, this is a normal size garden. I was gonna put maybe some flowers over here and maybe over here too, like with my usual accompaniment of things that I store. Okay, so the sun goes down here. I'm, this is the first world. I actually made, I believe, three worlds. That's right. I've been busy bee. So I'll be back in a second, and I'll show you the next world. And hello again. Uh, this, this is the second world that I was working on for a while. Um, I actually did a little bit of live streaming with, with, with this world. So you know, some people, not very many, maybe like five of the most got to see some of the building of this. So this thing, uh, when I first built it, I spawned again on an island over that way. I like islands sometimes, but occasionally they get kind of irritating in terms of for a future expansion. So what I wanted to do with this build was I wanted to make a greenhouse. Uh, hence, um, th thanks very much to Albino Man's suggestion, I was able to make a, a dirt uh, staircase from the ground up to the top and got this filled with grass and some jack lanterns for illumination. I took the inspiration from a lot of buildings that they're making in China, which because of the, you know, massive scale of the country, they realized there's not enough concrete in the world to make Western style buildings in, uh, in in China. There we go. There's not, uh, not I said there's not enough to, uh, concrete in the world to make Western style buildings. This is not a Western style building, though. No. This is something resembling a duck, 
and that was completely not my intention. I wanted to make, you know, I want to use local materials. So I'm in a savanna biome. I love savannas. By the way, they're just beautiful places. However, I hate acacia trees. They are a royal pain in the, in the, in the you know what, to uh, harvest. So over here, I started experimenting with different types of tree farms. Simple enough, really. You just put lines of them, and the acacia works fine this way. Just This is also called the diagonal trick. You line them up here, and whether or not there's the leaves above, they will always grow to the normal height. Apparently, they check side, but not uh, diagonal direction. That's why this works. Here's some birch and some oak in the same place. Uh, I think you can upgrade, you can make this a little bit more efficient by limiting it somehow, but I'm not quite sure what the dimensions are, so I'll work on it if get a chance. I also got the jungle saplings here. This is going to be big. I'm gonna, I think I'm predicting I'm going to use a lot of jungle trees in uh, in this new series. I was also going to play around with some spruce because I'm really interested in the new mega spruce as they, they can be almost as tall as this but with the normal spruce shape. Also over here I've got a small sugarcane farm and a cocoa bean farm and over the, everywhere I've got melons and pumpkins just sort of scattered around the place. And I don't really have a large call for melon or pumpkin in a large uh, production capacity so I think I might just, just scatter them everywhere and eventually I'll you know pick up what I need. Over here, this is kind of interesting. I made a little uh, stables for, for my horse and, 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 for, and for my donkey. And is this the one or is it the other one? No, nope. okay. So uh, this is not my um, this is not my main donkey. This is my other donkey. Uh, and I use these uh, these hay bales. I, I kind of like the way they almost look like racing stripes. Like, and they're off. And this is kind of a cool invention. I really I hadn't really done a lot with, with animals uh, recently, so I wanted to play around with the design for for this uh, stables and also how to get them in and out. So if you put two of these uh, gates next to each other, it will is kind of difficult to get them in and out of. But if you put three, they they can, when they're all open, it recognizes it as enough clearance to get them out easily enough. Now I'm pretty pleased with how that came out. Uh, over here, just got basic. Uh, farm implements. Let me show you quickly the inside of, of the greenhouse, which kind of looks like a duck. I was also playing around a little bit with um, nether hubs, but I'll, more on that later. So over here. Okay, so interior, got glowstone laying from the nether. I also got vines on the outside. Not really pleased how they came out. Uh, this is my to-do list up top. Didn't really get to a lot of them, but no worries. Down here is actually where I initially came in. I, I dug in from the side of, of the mountain here cut and then cut up to build this thing. It was safer that way. Enchanting room, normal, normal stuff here. Actually over here, I can show you quickly, I've got a series of staircases. I think one would probably have been a little easier to go up and down with, but this is kind of like my fishing area. I would go off here and just do a little bit of fishing. I was working on making an underground uh, water base, but <clears throat> didn't quite get to it yet. I will however get to that this season. I really want to do some underwater building if possible. Yeah, you can't really see it from here, but under here, I guarantee there's a tunnel that I built. So, yeah, that's, that's it for this base here. I do want to show you the Mark 1 of what I may, and I'll see, I may end up being my new spawn vehicle. This is mostly inspired by Generic B's uh, Uncle Jenny RV. I give you the Pork Chop Express. Now, those of you who don't know, uh, look up the, the, um, the movie Big Trouble in Little China. And it's a movie starring uh, Kurt uh, Kurt Douglas. Excellent, excellent movie. Also, uh, also, um, what's that guy? Uh, that one of the main, other, one of the side characters is also. If you ever saw the the movie uh, Three Ninjas, if you're from my generation, the, the kids movie, the the uncle in that he he's in the movie too. So this is this is the first model that I made of the Pork Chop Express. Pork Chop Express Jack Burton. That's the name of the operator, and it's basically a I know an eighteen wheeler. Well, not exactly 18 wheeler, but close enough to it. It's got two compartments. This part here is elongated because it's actually a sleeper. So I can go in, and my bed's right there, and I can go, I can go to sleep, and I can go up here. Breaker, breaker, this, this is Jack Burton on the old Pork Top Express on a dark and, well, brightly lit night. I, I just like the way it looks. Well, I'll figure out a way to, to film it better. But I like the way it came out. And in the back, that's that was kind of the cool part. Um, I made a couple of models of this, so I was playing around a little bit. But over here, I've got, you like right in my ass? For, then buy me a drink first. And yeah, it seemed funny at the time. Uh, I got the, the, this is a straight-up rip-off of Generic B. He used the redstone bricks and the item frames. I don't have much else to use for, for redstone, so I might as well use it for something. 
and uh, the 70 minute bag from action this is another reference to the the, the movie Big Trouble in Little China over here I've got uh, smelting stuff and crafting things and also some minor storage here another thing I'm playing around with is doing like an entrance to a mine over here so I may or may not do that in the future so cool this is pretty much this world so I'll be right back and I'll show you the third world that I made and I'm back this is the third world that I created. This is the, the one I spent the most time on. In fact, this was the one I actually made using the uh, 1.8 snapshots, as opposed to the other two, which were 1.710 version of Minecraft. Uh, this one, I really want to experiment with nether hubs. So I kind of built one. So I'm, I'm showing this to you in the order of inverse creation. So this is what I made last. And it's nothing really fancy, but I just wanted to show you to you in any case. This is basically the uh, idiot's uh, villager spawner, not completed. So what, what I've got here is basically a wall with a village, and I've got maybe like eight or nine villagers in there. I was planning on doing more with it, but this is kind of like the first stage of making a villager spawner, at least as far as I'm concerned. I'm not up to you know, you know know Etho's level or anyone else's the level of making a villager spawner. Probably not ever, but this is what I got. I was ever very pleased with my ability to make the um, nether hubs. I also realized that it's actually much more complicated than I thought. And I'll show you why in just a second. So, got the minecart system fairly well here. Although I know I should enclose it because it, I do get dummy pigmen spawning around here, which is not not the most fun thing to have me interrupt your your uh, uh, minecart trail. By the way, I'm also playing around with my sounds a little bit. So if, if this sounds a little bit off, if the balance of the game sounds is a little off, I am working on that. And please let me know in the comments what I can do to fix it. And over here, this, this way is over to uh, the, the, the um, nether fortress I was able to find. Very lucky there. But see, you see this here, this area here? I built this out. I built a portal in it, and I assumed this was the correct way to where I was actually just a minute ago. I miscalculated somehow for the fifth or sixth time, and I, I got the coordinates wrong. But eventually, I did get it right, I think. Yeah, I, I did get it right, because I was just there. And so I was, I was able to get to, to the place where I wanted to go. Uh, it, actually, initially, I started building way in the opposite direction, and that was really annoying, because I used up most of a diamond pickaxe doing that. Okay, so this is kind of an experiment that I made. I showed this to my fiance, and she said it kind of looked like a chip witch. So, yeah. This is an idea I had for, for a spawn base. Uh, it's basically a flying saucer. I kind of wanted to base it off of the one from Men in Black 1, you know, the ones that they're supposedly made from the, uh, the those towers from the world the world the World's Fair. And I don't really like the way it's, it came out okay, but not great. It's supposed to look like it was kind of, you know, just landed and you know, aliens descended, but it just, it doesn't really work for me. I, I'm going to revisit making a UFO, but this just, I don't know, for some reason, it just does not do it well for me. I liked what I was able to do. I did, I did a lot with the new blocks here. I got granite, uh, diorite, and a little bit of andesite here. Uh, andesite, I'm a little bit on the fence about because I think it looks so much similar to stone. Got to be careful with it, but I love granite, and I love diorite. This stuff makes make something look great. And uh, so, yeah, that was, that was an experiment. So, and down here is a, a, another mine that I cut. Nothing fancy, just just a long, long way down with a, a blue. You can see there's a safe fall in there. A little bit of an improvement. So we're heading back, and I get I get turned around, so I actually just put signs up saying where the which way is back to wherever I wanted to go. <sighs> okay, so what you're about to see is my. Um, primary base for preparation for the ProMine server. This was a lot of work, just you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, and mostly just doing fun things. Things I wanted to do, a little bit here, a little bit there, different, different ideas I had. It's like, oh, you know what? I want to build that thing. So I went and did it. So, da -da -da, welcome to Minecraft 1.8 one Snapshots home base with multiple spawn uh, encampments. So first thing I want to show you is this. This is the Mark Three actually of the uh, the um, pork top express. See, you got that here. It's very similar. One thing I did change is I added. Um, the, I think I think I saw this in Corrales's video on the RV or it was one of, it was one of Corrales's videos. Um, if you put a stack of cobblestone walls, it actually looks kind of like smokestacks. So I kind of like that. 
Uh, the front, I'm still a little bit working on. Uh, I've got different configurations there. I changed the materials up a little bit. I've got um, not sandstone, but I've got stone, stone brick, stone slabs, and diorite. And I wanted to make sure I got the roof to be a half slab, so mobs don't normally spawn on it, but just be safe, I might as well put some glowstone, which also gives me illumination on the inside. Now this one is fully kitted out. This is my main storage area. So I've got all the stuff here, including these new uh, armor stands, which I keep forgetting how to make, but one day I'll remember how to make them. So that's the way this turned out. So the next, next thing I did, I kind of like did sort of a role play to figure out what I was going to do next. So I, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the Pork Chop Express, driving down a dark and stormy night, and it's like, oh crap, a tree! So I, I accidentally hit this tree right here, this dark, dark oak. I was like, okay, well, now I'm stuck here, so I might as well make the best of it. So what do I do? Well, first thing I do is go fishing. So I got, I caught me a couple of things, including a squid ink sack. Then I built this. This is, I think, at least the fifth incarnation of my twisted tower. Now, the first time I built this was on my first Minecraft vanilla server, and I didn't like the way it turned out. It looked kind of like a combination of a studded dildo and a swastika. So I tore that down and rebuilt it again for a little bit, a little bit better. Oh, that's a Lighting glitch over here. Oh, there you go. So this I like. Uh, it's basically a, a tower from the bottom up to here. Then it splits off in two directions. And see this transition here? This took me a while to figure out how to, make, how to do this. Uh, I eventually had to use graph paper to figure out how to make this transition work. So over here, you can see through the window, I've got my enchanting table. And the opposite side, I have my, I have my farm. It meets my needs, and it's got, I'm not even sure if it's actually necessary, I don't think it is, but I put the glass top in any case. So over here, this was the tricky part, it split, goes up then splits again in opposite directions, and over here, I got cows, and sheep. They keep glitching to the walls, so unfortunately, I'm not sure how to fix that. And over here, I've got pigs, this took me a while to get because I, I, I had trouble uh, getting a, um, a zombie spawner that, that I found to, to drop a carrot for, for breeding them. And down here, of course, is the easiest one to do, which was the chickens. That was not the hard part. The hard part, if you notice, this is all grass. And I did this before I got a silk touch pick. I did it by using the same idea that Albino Man suggested uh, for, for, for the, uh, the, the second server before you, you just saw. I made a dirt bridge from down there all the way up here split in four directions, and eventually got it to grow over the dirt and make this. I think when I finished the top, I get sort of an observation deck from up here. You can survey all the, all the land around me. I was planning on making an underwater base over here, but this was made reason one point I had snapshot before they came out with the water dungeon, so there's no real point because I don't really have water dungeons in your vicinity, so yeah, I'll, I'll get to that in the future. So the next thing I did was I experimented a little bit more with, uh, again, with tree growing. So I've got over here sugarcane, and I've got oak, birch, and here's the jungle, and here's the spruce. And I really like the fact that you can now make, I don't know why this hasn't sprouted though. This might be a different thing about the way spruce functions. Oh well. But th this is the mega spruce. It's just a 2x2 two two of the spruce saplings, and gives you this thing, which is... Uh, maybe about four fifths the size of, the, of the, this, this normal, this uh, tall jungle tree. I like it. Now this thing over here, I did not grow. Well, I grew part of it. This is my thought. My thought. My, here's my thought process. Um, I've got a lot of redstone here because I've been doing a lot of mining down in my mine. There's a little mine shaft down there, and I don't really know what to do with redstone because I'm not really good at building with redstone. I've tried and it's failed in most of the attempts. So I'm like, okay, why don't I just build a redstone tree? Okay, I'll do that. So I did. I, I built it. It's not great, but I kind of like the way it turned out. Basically, I, I sort of incorporated it. I sort of like, if, if redstone took over an oak tree, this might be kind of what it looks like. It's like it sort of starts to branch out, then it's able to get back into that. Oh, that's a bunch of the, uh, block, oak block. I just want to... I'll replace that later. So I'll put that in here. And what I do is I put, I put dirt at where you just saw that here. Then... Grew it with bone meal and then replaced it with dirt blocks. So it's kind of like uh, grown from blocks and redstone at the same time. I kind of like it. It, it. it looks wonky. It doesn't have the nearly as much uh, aesthetic appeal as the as the vanilla trees. But what are you gonna do? It's a redstone tree. Now over here, this is something I might should be showing this to you, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is something I may have be my spawn base in the next 
uh, in the next episode for uh, the ProMind episode one. This is my covered wagon. Now, I'm not going to tell you what kind of covered wagon I'll be making because that would, be, would reveal a surprise. But this thing I like. This is the third version I made of this. I just built in different, different dimensions here. I, I got some of the inspiration for these wheels from B00's videos on when he made it a, um, a long time ago, like a year or so ago. He made a, a house next to a, uh, a river with like a water wheel, and he was having trouble getting wheels. This is one of the designs he used for smaller wheels. I like the way it turned out. So I've got this. This is all. This is about a stack of wool. So if I do do this as, as my uh, spawn house, it's going to be hard to get that much wool to begin with. But once you, once you get into it, see, because these ladders are here, zombies can't get up. Uh, spiders can, I believe, but that's going to be another difficulty. Bed, storage, crafting, and smelting. And nice view, and also a good place to put well, well, oops, a good place to put a horse or a donkey once I get to it. I need to work on this area too, but I like the way this turns out, and I may very much likely re reuse this design. Now over here, this is something I think I may do, depending on what everyone else wants to do with, with uh, the ProMine server. So first thing I did was play around with uh, roads. This one is this cobble and mixture of, and gravel road. I see I've got bunnies all over here, although I have yet to tame them. They're kind of untamable. I made this sort of design for a road after my third or fourth attempt. I kind of like it. It's not ideal, but I kind of like the alternating patterns. It works for me, at least for now. And I cleared all this land out, and I made this. This is the first model of the brew and bucket. This is a Minecraft tea shop. And uh, it was, it was, I mean, I'm, my, my avatar is, is freaking Arthur Dent. So the first question I have to ask myself is, is there any tea in Minecraft? And the answer is, no, there's not really any tea. But there are potions. So this is sort of my first attempt. Not a very good design because zombies can actually get up over this and attack you. So that's not great when customers come in. <laughs> can, I feel, can I feel like um, Tom Hanks in Big? Okay, so... So going back here, I got some, uh, the furnaces here. My plan is eventually, to, and again, I'm not good at redstone, but I think I can do this. I want to make some kind of a system where you can push a button and it will dispense one of several random potions. I'm thinking like a slowness potion, maybe a nausea potion, and then over here, I'm going to have a, a, a box filled with milk buckets. So you can have a brew, and if it's the wrong kind of brew, you have the bucket. So brew and bucket. And okay, so I like the way these... these um. Uh, tables came out. They're kind of nice, and these chandeliers not too bad. I kind of work on a little bit. So upstairs, this is kind of like the main cafe area. I want to have a cafe feel. Up here is kind of a more cozy area. I got a little, little furnace. This place reminds me of, of a place I used to go to in college. And I love the view, by the way, of my, my base. I have to work on that. And also downstairs, I have my see employees only. I've got my brewing area. Nether wart, and I got all this different stuff here, unlabeled, of course. It's basically an, an apothecary cabinet. So all the things that I, I might need, well, most things I might need, in here, and in, oh, well, I don't know why that's in there, but I, I, I actually put a, I didn't want to actually boil, but I did, I did put another rack in here with, with a, a cauldron. I've got a brewing stand, and yeah. So this is in pretty good shape. I, I, one thing I will say about it is that it's kind of a pain to go back and forth between the brewing stand area and, and my, my main area. So I may have to work on that. So there's one more thing I want to show you. This was kind of the last thing I built. So I may employ this if I feel like it in, in the new season. I just, it just depends on what everyone else is going to do. I don't want to be copying someone. I also don't want to be going as a green if someone does not want to decide on the building scheme. This is my tree house. Now, unlike normal tree houses, this is actually a branching tree house. So what I did is I made I, I took I made three columns of the dark oak fairly close together. Actually, I found that it, if, if they were farther apart, this thing while it does give me more floor space, it made it look too much like an actual house. But I didn't want it to be a house. I really wanted it to look like a tree that I had incorporated into a house. I, I made a I think I actually have it around here somewhere. Had a set of, oh, I don't know where I put it, but I had a set of, of green stained leather armor. I was going around with a, with a bow and, and, go, and going, making like an elf, almost like like a, you know, the, the guy from Lord of the Rings with the L name. Like, Avast there, I set you on fire with my fire bow. 
Fire Cow. Yeah. By the way, I love my fire bow. <laughs> so yeah, the cool thing about about this is I built it sort of like up here is the storage area. You actually have to jump in order to move. I thought about doing uh, normal staircases or half slabs, but I really wanted to try and build with, with blocks. I wanted to make it seem like it was an organic tree that I had just happened to incorporate. I haven't quite figured what to do with the other with the rooms yet or else to build in here yet. I don't know if I could really build a farm. Not really, but we'll see. So yeah, this is pretty much what, what I've been doing uh, for the last month or so with vanilla Minecraft. Now, uh, without further ado, oh, my question is probably get there, so I give you Kankidia in the ProMine server. See you next time.